Hey guys, and in this tutorial you'll learn to create your own marketplace assets for Game Maker. It's a great way to share your code and the things you've made so that people can use them in their games. So to start you should make a new project and make your asset inside it. For this tutorial I'll be making a very simple player object asset. So it is a sprite for the player and an object. So first of all your asset resources should be inside groups that are named after the asset. So I'll open the player object. So this is a simple object that moves using the arrow and WSD keys and faces the mouse. So in the create event, you should have variables that a user can customize. You should give the user as many options as possible. So here I have a move speed, a turning speed and the option to disable WASD or arrow keys. And you should also have comments explaining what each variable does. You should also have a documentation for your asset. You can create them inside the scripts. Sure, we have nodes in GMS2, but for some reason you can put them in your asset. So inside the scripts, I've created this documentation. So it's basically a help file. So if there's anything you want the user to know before using the asset, like basic usage instructions or some tips, then you can put them here. Now let's get to the publishing part. First of all, make sure you have an account on your game's website and make sure you are logged in in Game Maker. Then you'll have to create a publisher account and you can read how to do so on this page. The link is in the description. Now before publishing you'll need to open preferences and go to marketplace. Here you'll need to create a new certificate. Make sure you save it somewhere safe and back it up cause it's very important. Now to make the asset you can go to the marketplace menu and select create package. Here you can fill in the details like the asset name, starting version, package id and package type. And here you can select the resources that go into the asset. So I'll just select the groups I created. And then you can click on OK. Now this will open and you can close this. So now the asset has been uploaded but not yet published. So you need to go to the marketplace and open the publisher page. And you can see your asset here. I click on it. And on this page you can fill in all the details. And these are details that are required. So after I filled in all the details, mainly the description, the price, the icon and the screenshots, my asset is ready. So I can click on publish to publish the asset. And then it's published. You can go to asset listing and click on view in marketplace. And here is the asset. It's ready and published and people can start downloading it. Now anytime you want to update your asset, you can do this through this option. Here you have to select the asset you want to update, so I'll select the asset I just made. And here you can set the new version number. And here you can add the resources that you want to update. And then click on OK. And then you have to go to the versions page of your asset. And here you can see your new version, it's processing. And when it's done processing, you can publish it. But before publishing, I'll open the edit page. Here you should add the changes you made in the update and then click on save. And then you can publish the version. So your update will be released. So that's all. Hope this tutorial helped you. Make sure to subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.